First, we export the pattern of the clothing. Select All Patterns. Then open the UV tool. Use Automatically Arrange Selected UV. You can see that this tool automatically arranges the UVs. Then we select Export. Export as an SMD file. Choose the folder where you want to save it. If we don't have the option to export SMB, please feel free to contact us. Without changing any settings, directly export. Wait a moment. Next, we export the avatar. Select the avatar. Export as an FBX file. Choose the folder where you want to save it. Export. Deselect all options except for the avatar. Change 100% to 10%. Select the first option. Pay attention to the orientation of the axes. Export. Next, we upload the avatar. Upload to Mixamo for rigging. Open the Mixamo website. Upload the avatar exported from Style3D. Choose the file. Uploading, wait a moment. After confirming the avatar is correct, select Next. Follow the tutorial on Mixamo to install markers on the avatar. This step is quite important. Try to accurately place the markers onto the avatar skeleton. Select Next. Wait for the loading to complete. After confirming there are no issues, select Next. During loading, you can select Dance Actions. Loading complete. Choose the desired action and click. Wait for a while, the avatar's actions will appear in the display on the right. You can adjust the actions in the attributes pattern on the right. You can slow down the actions. Increase the length of the action loop. You can keep experimenting. Select the effects you want. We should be mindful that the selected actions leave appropriate space for adding clothing in post-processing. This one elongates the space between the arms and shoulders. The higher the arm space value, the greater the arm's amplitude. Next, we download this animation. Choose the default settings for downloading. Once the downloaded animation is ready, place it into the folder you've created. Then go back to Style3D and export the FBX file. Create a new folder. Name it human. Import the FBX file into the newly created folder. Make sure to only select all the models. Confirm.
After exporting, open Maya. Import the file that was just exported. Enable shaded display. Open the hypershade window. Then adjust the normal maps for each material. Select the material sphere. Locate the normal map and click the adjacent arrow. Then find the color space. Replace sRGB with raw in the utility section. After making the adjustments, adjust the UVs for each material. First, open the UV editor. Select objects with materials applied to the material sphere. Map the UVs to the UV editor for adjustments. You can expand the Transform tab on the right-hand toolbar. Click the directional arrow to adjust the UV coordinates. Next, arrange all the UVs. Then, duplicate the model in the Outliner view. Hide the original model. Assign the copied model the Lambert material. Then select the duplicated model and export the current selection. Overwrite the original model. You can then delete the duplicated model. Expand the hidden model in the Outliner view. Rename it. Then import the animated model. Separate the original model from the newly imported model. Then open the Hypershade window and the UV editor. Apply the material of the original model. Assign it to the model with animations. Now, all the materials. All the materials have already been assigned. Let's do a check. Afterwards, delete the original model. In the Outliner view, select the model with materials and animations. Export it. Click Export Current Selection.
Follow the video and check the required options. Overwrite the original model file as needed. Next, let's open Unreal Engine UE. Open the plugin options. Enter Style 3D. You'll notice that the plugin doesn't appear. We need to import the plugin first. Create a new folder called Plugins in the original UE folder. Place the downloaded Style Simulator into this folder. After searching in the plugin options, we'll find that the plugin is not here. So, we need to restart UE. Reopen UE and then open the plugin options again. Enter style. Check the plugin. Now the plugin is installed. Next, log in. Enter our account password. Then open the content browser. Right click in an empty space. Create a new folder inside. Name it avatar. Next, we import the avatar. Open the folder we created earlier. Choose the FBX file downloaded from Mixamo. Remember to check Skeletal Mesh. and animations with time. Import all. Wait for the loading to complete. After the avatar is imported, Wait for the shaders to load. Drag the avatar directly into the scene. We can see that there's an issue with the avatar's eye texture. Double click the avatar in the right hand attribute pattern. Find the material slot covering the eyeball. You can use the isolation method to verify. Double click to open. Select Translucent. Drag the connection line from opacity using the left mouse button. Search for SCA. Select Scalar Parameter. You can see that the eye texture is now normal. Apply. Close. Select Add. Enter Style. Select Style 3D at the bottom. Now our plugin is installed on the avatar. Next, we import the clothing into a new folder. Import the clothing into the newly created folder. Wait for a while. Wait for the clothing shaders to load. Drag the clothing directly into the right side metadata asset. You'll see that the clothing is now on the avatar. Uncheck the attached clothing. Choose Draw Meshes to prevent limbs from colliding with the pattern. Click on the avatar and select Style 3D. 
In the adjacent attribute pattern, find the colors provided by the plugin. Follow the color indications above. Apply the respective colors to the limbs. If you're unable to apply, select the RGB channel in the left edit window. We need to be very careful when applying the paint. Try to cover the limbs as much as possible. You can switch the front and rear views to avoid any missed areas. Next, let's fast forward. After finishing the painting, choose Save. Return to the selection mode. Now, let's go back to the Style 3D plugin. Drag the clothing into Metadata Asset. Then, click Bind Group, Save in Sequence. To perform clothing skinning, switch back to the avatar. Choose the Animation Asset. Drag the animation sequence from the previously imported files. Clothing is detached from the body. You can go back to the Style 3D plugin. Click Preview in Editor. Clothing can be brought back onto the avatar. Then, click Enable Pose Fitting. Drag the animation sequence into the Oppose asset. Double click and click Create Asset. Create Pose Asset. Current Pose. You can name it. Then, drag the newly created pose into the Oppose Asset. Click Post Fitting. Then, check Smooth Emulation and Collision Convex. Click Play. We can see that the clothing is now on the avatar and it can be moved accordingly. Then stop the simulation. Select Garment Cache Record. Expand and click Record Avatar Animation. You can name it here. Change it to 1024 here. Click play to start recording. You are now in recording mode. This shows the recorded duration. Well, we can wait patiently. You can stop anytime. Press ESC to finish. Select Garment Cache Play. Before playing the recorded video, let's create a level in the folder first. Double click to open. Select to import the avatar's animation channels. Click to import camera views. Click the plus sign after animation. Add the avatar's animation sequence. Click again. Select Style 3D. 
Click. Select Garment Cache. Go back to the plugin interface to check the name of the recorded video. Drag it directly from the channel. Right click after extending. Expand. Type inside the name of the video we recorded earlier. Copy and paste. The video we just recorded has been imported. Let's extend it further. Click play. You can see, the video is playing the recorded content. Click the camera icon in the upper left corner to exit camera view. Click play again. You can see, now, the clothing doesn't match, as we expected or desired. So we need to modify the physical properties of the clothing mesh. Double-click on the clothing in the Style 3D plugin. Here, we can adjust the properties of the clothing mesh and more. If you're not sure about the specific properties here, you can adjust the fabric properties as desired. I will demonstrate the input I've already configured for the clothing's physical attributes. Increase the fabric strength to the maximum. You can increase its drag property, change its softness. Fabric weight can make the fabric more lightweight. You can do this on the left side. In the simulation window, click on the pattern you want to change the properties of. We can select some pattern to freeze. Select Save. Close the level. Click on the avatar. Select Style 3D. Put the clothes back on the avatar. Then we do it again. Select Garment Cash Recard for another recording. Remember to change the name of the recording segment. Select Play Recording. Select to replace the newly recorded video. Play it. We can see that the fabric is now more dynamic than before, with much more flexibility. We can make further adjustments.
Adjust the properties. Adjust the strength. Then play the recording again. Remember to change the name. Start recording. After recording is done, change the video again. Play it. We can see that the fabric has become much softer. Play it again. You can adjust according to the effect you want. Adjust again. Next, we import the background we need. Scene assets. We can import clothing into the Style 3D directory. This way, the next time you open the clothing, the plugin can automatically save it in the Style 3D directory. Create a new folder. Then drag the scene assets into it. Remember to uncheck Skeletal Mesh. Then, Import All. Then we choose an asset to import. If we want to change its material, double-click. Isolate the material by double-clicking. Double-click the material. Drag it out with the left mouse button. Input Blend. Select Blend Underscore Overlay. Connect. Hold down the left mouse button and click on 3, then click on 1. Bring up what we need. Window. Input multiple again. Add multiply. Connect it. Input 1. Here, you can adjust the desired overlay color. Click Apply. That the material in the scene hasn't changed. It might be that its original texture is covering this color. You can choose to delete the texture. Copy the four properties that were brought up earlier. Copy the four windows. Paste. Select, connect. Apply. We can see that the wood texture has changed its color. Next, you can use this method to continue creating your scene and changing materials. This is the scene after creation. You can add some lights to change the ambience. 
Here are some demonstrated lighting settings you can refer to. Now let's export the final video. Check the video. Click Render Video. Set your storage name and address. Click Render to export. We'll see the rendering window pop up. Export the video. Let's take a look at the final video result. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.